The title of the video states, It is better to flee the Obama nation soon. This is a warning given to you all by your Creator, who lives and reigns in the highest heavens, who knows everything about the past, present and what is to come. You might be wondering why the Most High True God is giving such a warning when North America and the rest of the world seems like the most prosperous and richest nations now. I will let you listen to this scripture passage, a prophecy from the book of Daniel in the Holy Bible. Daniel chapter 9 verses 27 and I quote, And upon the wing of abominations shall come one who makes desolate until the decreed end is poured out on the desolator. In the book of second book of Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 says, the coming of the lawless one by the activity of Satan will be with all power and, and with pretended signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are to perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Jesus has revealed through his two witnesses who are Petrus Romanus and Mary Romanus that Barack Hussein Obama is the man of lawlessness and the Antichrist in the political arena, along with his twin, Antipope Francis, who is the son of perdition and the Antichrist in the religious arena. I am going to make you listen to some excerpts from the testimony of the two witnesses. Jesus said, and I quote, If Obama stays in office, then a double woe to the world in which you live. Know that this will be one of the signs that the great warning is approaching fast. It all depends on this next election what the future will be. I am ready to pull my people out. If the American people refuse my mercy, I will pull them out sooner and all of the evil designs of the one world government forces will fall upon the people at once. Even now they are making ready. They have their soldiers in place. The people in the occult world have grown increasingly impatient on the devil's plans for North America. They want things to move faster and so they are offering even more occult sacrifices of live victims, my children, tortured live victims. Though there is still love in mankind, mankind will still have to pay for their offenses. They still have to learn who is God. And this is going to come quickly about with the implementation of the new North American currency and a collapse of the North American financial situations. It is like a deck of cards. All they are waiting for is the right wind. America is doomed. The world is doomed because man's hearts have turned away from me, from each other and ultimately towards self and sick satanic pleasures. Television has no room for the kingdom of heaven, but only seeks to preach the opposite. Hearts that are awake and full of love should have no room for the television in their lives or their children's lives. God, the Almighty and Eternal Father in heaven, gave this message, message through his two witnesses, and I quote, What's coming to North America and to the world is due punishment for their sins against me. I will punish those who have chosen alien gods by handing them over to them. I will bring North America and the world to its knees, one plague, one disaster at a time. America and the world decides how much punishment they receive through their actions. If they continue to mock my laws and hold theirs in higher esteem, they do force me in a way to take action against them, no longer seeing my son Jesus in them, but seeing mankind more as vermin or pigs that need to be slaughtered. America and the world will decide for themselves when enough is enough. When they cry out to me through remorse for their sins, I will listen. But until they acknowledge their sins and the punishments due them, 
Their prayers will fall on deaf ears. It begins now. I have unleashed the four horsemen of the apocalypse that stand arrayed for battle. They are poised and ready to battle with flesh and blood. It begins. Now events are on a spiral effect and now history cannot be changed. You will see this soon, my children. Jesus also gave this message through his two witnesses. My words are living and active and never return to me empty. I sent you both out to witness the truth to the people of these times, to get them ready for what is coming and help them prepare for what is near in the future. I sent you also, I sent you out also to testify against the wicked of this generation, against the souls who refuse to receive my mercy, against the Satanists, the Luciferians, Freemasons and pagans of this generation. I have something very big against mankind and according to the scriptures, I needed two witnesses so I can bring about the chastisement of North America and the world and all of heaven will see that I am completely just. I love you, my people, but time is running out, is coming to an end. This generation will be lost if they do not seek to return back to me with repentant and sorrowful hearts. There is nothing more I can do, for the balance of justice and mercy has been tipped. Your sins, my people, outweigh the good works you have done. Your sins are reaching the highest heavens, but your prayers are not. Humble yourselves before me, before it is too late, and your souls are indeed lost. Have mercy, show mercy. If you continue to be merciless, then I have no choice but to act against you. Jesus also said, The coming of the lawless one by the activity of devil is about to manifest to the fullest degree because he hates man and desires that all their souls be lost. Obama may have triumphed in this election, but he forgets that I win the war. Indeed, I have already won it. He is not just a mere man, but is the desolate one, the one who makes all things desolate. By his very nature, he has an inclination to murder, to mayhem, to chaos. On the surface, he seems personable, friendly and popular with all of the people. But underneath all of that is a heinous plan for world governance, for all of the nations, by the enemy incarnate. Just as I came to the earth to sow seeds of life and truth in people, indeed I am here again through my two witnesses sowing seeds of truth and life within souls who want to escape the beast state. Obama is not at all what he seems like on the surface, but is a tyrant who will rule very hard this term. He is not sent from above, but from beneath the surface of the earth. My two witnesses are here, not to perform signs and wonders for the whole world to see, but signs and wonders will come. The Antichrist will perform many of these signs. But the sign that I give to you all, as I said before, is the sign of Jonah. For he was disciplined when he ran away from the truth being spoken in his interior life. It is better to run away and flee from the abomination of desolation in all of the churches. And it is better to flee the Obama nation that is set up in the White House, not white at all, but drips with the blood of the innocent. Here is the leader that you wanted, instead of my laws and my commands and my love." End quote. So in this message, you know who is speaking to your hearts. Now would be a good time to repent, to get your houses in order and turn back to your Lord and Savior instead of rejecting this olive branch and calling down judgment upon yourself. I would recommend that you go through the links that I've posted in the description box below this video to get a better idea of the true spiritual reality. And please visit testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com 
and salvation can become yours. Here you cannot buy your salvation with money, but you will have to do what your Creator asks of you by repenting of all of your sins. Thanks for listening.